Hello students, welcome to our J Prep channel. Hope all of you are doing well as usual. Today we will do one problem on projectile motion. Let us read the problem and understand the methodology of this problem. A fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 km with a speed of 720 km per hour passes directly overhead an anti-aircraft gun. At what angle from the vertical should the gun be fired for the shell of muzzle velocity 600 meter per second to hit the plane? And the second problem is, at what maximum altitude should the pilot fly the plane to avoid being hit? Now, how to solve this problem? Now, understand the methodology of this problem. A fighter plane flying horizontally at an altitude of 1.5 km. Means there is a fighter plane which is flying at a height of 1.5 km. And this fighter plane comes exactly above this anti-aircraft gun. This fighter plane is flying with a speed of 720 km per hour which comes to be 200 meter per second. And when this fighter plane comes exactly over this anti-aircraft gun, the anti-aircraft gun fires a shell in order to hit that aeroplane. Okay, now the shell is being fired with a speed of 600 meter per second. Okay, now what we want to find out, the angle with which the shell is to be fired in order to hit that fighter plane. Now here the thing is that, let theta be the angle with which the shell is being fired in order to hit that fighter plane. Then the horizontal distance covered by the shell is equal to horizontal distance covered by the plane. Okay, so therefore let's write this. Horizontal distance covered by the shell is equal to horizontal distance covered by fighter plane. Now the shell is fired with 600 meter per second at an angle theta. Now as we want to find out the horizontal distance covered by the shell, we need to find out the horizontal velocity. Therefore, the, what is the horizontal velocity? This is that u cos theta component. So this u cos theta comes to be 600 cos theta. So therefore, horizontal velocity of the shell is 600 cos theta. Then the horizontal distance is equal to this horizontal velocity into time. So therefore, this is 600 cos theta into t is equal to, what is the horizontal distance covered by the plane? The plane is moving with a speed of 720 km per hour, which comes to be 200 meter per second. And the fighter plane is uh, moving horizontally. Therefore, velocity into time will give you the horizontal distance. Hence, this is 200 into t. So, now here, if you simplify this, t will get cancelled. And then, 200 and 600 will also cancel. Therefore, cos theta is equal to 1 by 3. So, what is the value of cos theta? That is 1 by 3. But we need to find out angle theta. For cos theta equal to 1 by 3, the angle theta comes to be 70 degrees and 30 minutes. So therefore, if the plane to be heated, then the shell should be fired at an angle of 70 degrees 30 minutes. Okay, now, second question is, at what maximum altitude should the pilot fly the plane to avoid being hit? means now the shell is being fired with a speed of 600 meter per second and with an angle of 70 degrees 30 minutes then we will have to calculate the height attained by the shell for this angle and that velocity if the fighter pilot want to avoid the collision if the fighter pilot wants to avoid the hit 
the fighter pilot has to take his fighter plane at an height more than the height which is attained by the shell which is fired with this angle theta and the speed 600 meter per second so let us now find the height attained by the shell which is fired at an angle of 70 degree 30 minutes and speed 600 meter so therefore the height attained h is equal to u square sin square theta upon 2g now let's substitute the values the u is that is 600 u means the speed of the shell that is the 600 the whole square sin square theta we don't know sin theta so we will have to find out sin theta from the fundamental identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 why because we know cos theta as we know cos theta we can easily find out sin theta so let's find out this sin theta so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 therefore sin square theta plus cos theta is 1 by 3 the whole square is equal to 1 hence sin square theta is equal to this 1 by 3 square means 1 by 9 this 1 by 9 will go to the other side it become 1 minus 1 by 9 1 minus 1 by 9 and this comes to be 8 by 9 hence the value of sin square theta is 8 by 9 and we will substitute this value here 8 by 9 whole divided by 2 into 10 what is 10 acceleration due to gravity so hence h is equal to now see we will have to simplify this so i will write the simplified version this is 36 into 10 is to 4 into 8 divided by 2 into 10 into 9 then this 9 will cancel with this 4 and then this is with 4 and 10 with 10 is to 3 so therefore this comes to be 4 into 4 16 so 16 into 10 is to 3 meter means now here edge is equal to 16 into 10 is to 3 meter so this is 16 kilometer so what is this basically this is the height attained by the shell when it is fired at an angle of 70 degree 30 minutes with speed of 600 meter per second if the fighter pilot wants to avoid this hit he has to take his fighter plane at a height more than this 16 kilometers hence the angle with which the shell has to be fired is 70 degrees and 30 minutes and the height above which the fighter plane should move is 16 kilometers i hope all of you must understood this problem and students if you really want to improve your performance in CET and je and neat i strongly recommend all of you to subscribe our channel thank you